The following is a sponsored segment from The Higgins Firm. All right, let's uh, talk about the next uh, tragic case out of western Tennessee, the flesh-eating bacteria case, mm. where a settlement was settled. It was uh, the lawsuit was settled rather for seven point eight million dollars. Tell us a little yeah, bit about that. Yeah, yeah, went through a, a jury trial, and you know it's interesting because we've what over the past few months heard about these flesh-eating bacteria yeah. cases, just horrific. Amy cases. Copeland, yeah, sure, in and, and I think most of us. I have never heard of that. But this was a case in Dyersburg that started in 2004. Mm -hmm. uh, went through a trial, there was a mistrial, it was a young boy, 12 years old, went to a hospital, had this infection with flesh-eating bacteria, and uh, apparently just did not get treated, suffered brain damage, uh, mm -hmm. suffered a lot of loss uh, of the body just like these other people did, and just horrific damages. And so it was a lawsuit that began in 04. Uh, and it, it what finally, it takes so long. well, uh, you know, that unfortunately is the nature of, of a lot of this litigation. Mm -hmm. You know, we do a lot of heavy ma medical malpractice cases and they are just, they're hard. You've got experts. We have experts that come in from all over the country. Sometimes they take years to go through trial. In this case, it went through trial. There was a mistrial, had to go to the court of appeals, has My to come goodness. back, gets tried again, you know, so they're just, they are just long, hard roads. Mm -hmm. These cases are, but uh, yes, it was. A, it ended up after trial being a seven point something million dollar verdict for this young man to help him throughout his life, and and it really was what we call a failure to treat case. That that if they would have treated this quickly, if they would have been faster on it, if they would have gotten the antibiotics sure. instead of yeah. just saying I ah, put a band aid on it and head on home, that, that this young man wouldn't have had these problems. Wow. Well, if you have any legal questions, you are always free to contact Jim Higgins and his uh, attorneys over there, the Higgins Firm at 615-353-0930. You can also contact him via email. That's jsh at higginsfirm.com. Jim, thank you so much. Appreciate you, it. Hey, See the you. sun's coming out later today. Ah, can you believe it? Excited. I know.